Okay, let's get started. This is how you make a crystal heart. You need fishing wire. This is what I used, eight pound test. You could use 10 pound, that's fine. You need 74 four millimeter bicone crystals. You're gonna need two, I think those are five millimeter rounds six millimeter will work and then one bale okay now this is what when I say cross over I'm going to show you what it means to cross over when you put your beads on and you can have your left string your right string this is crossing over you're gonna take your right string and you're gonna go through the bead you'll see how we go okay first we're gonna start with four so that's one two three let those drop and then you're going to cross over the last one so that's four so I'm going to take my right string and I'm go, going to go through the crystal like that and then I, the step that I do next is going to be the only time I do it it's always on the first I take my two ends I put them together like that almost like bunny ears and then you pull the bead down and now your your strings are even now that's called a square so now you have one square we're going to need four of those. So that's one. And how we do it is you put one bead on your left string, one bead on your right string, one bead on your left string, and then you cross through that bead. So that's two. Okay, you're going to do that step two more times. one on your left one on your right one on your left cross through it and then pull one on your left this is the last one one on your right one on your left cross through it and then I'm going to show you how to count to make sure that you have four. Sometimes it gets a little bit stuck, so just work with it. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to count it. One on the sides, two, three, four. You count the crystals that are on the sides. And the string is coming out of the top bead. Okay, the string is coming out of the top bead what you're going to do is you're going to this is going to be your first turn you're going to only put the beads on the left string right now so you're going to put three so that's one two and then you let those beads drop down and on the third you cross through with your right and now watch the piece it's going to turn okay now it's sideways so you're going to do that step one more time, only putting the beads on the left string. You're going to add three beads again, and then I'm going to show you how the, the, the piece is going to turn again. So that's one, two, one more. Take your right string and cross through it. Okay, now watch it turn. Your piece is now actually going to go upside down like that like it's going to look like a J okay see just take your piece and it's and there it is as long as your piece is in that direction right now as we go on with this video that's your left string and then the other side it will be your right string now what we're going to do is we're going to sew up the beads so you're going to take your right string and you're going to go up the next bead on the right. See how the, the string is coming out of that bead down there? Well, you're going to go up the next bead. Now you have a string going up, and you have a string on your left going towards the left. So now you're going to put two beads on your left string. One, two. There's the second one, and now you're going to cross through with your right string. 
Now watch how you fill that because you're filling it in. Watch this now. You have two on that side. And then on your right, the string on your right, you're going to go up the next bead. I hope you could see that. And then again, on your left string, you're going to add two beads again. One, let that drop. Two, take your right string. And then you're going to cross through that one. Okay. And then you're going to go up the next bead. And if you count the sides, you have three squares on that side. See, you go up the next bead. And then you're going to add, again, two beads on your left string. It's a little hard to see. <laughs> you put one. Let that one fall, and then you have the second bead. Again, take your right string, cross through it. Pull it. And there you go, you're almost at the top. So now the next two beads you're going to go through, you're going to go up and over to the right. The, see the bead on the very top? So first you go through the next one, which is up. And then the next bead to the right, you're going to stick... I'm going to try to do it this way. There we go. I made it. <laughs> there you go. And then you're going to make another turn. You're going to turn the piece upside down. You're going to have the strings on the bottom. Watch how I do this so that you, you can follow. Because this is very important, this part right here. It's very critical that you turn it. Because your left string is still on your left and your right string is still your right. So turn it upside down like that. See that? Show you again to make sure, because this part's very cr cr crucial. Now you take one bead, because now the piece is going to fold, because you just finished making one half of the heart. So you take one bead, cross through it, and then watch how it folds. This is very important. See, the, I, there we go. It folds like that. I hope you can see that. Okay, that's one half. See where the, the, beat, the strings are coming out? There's my left side, my right side. And now we're just going to repeat what we did. You're going to now build up the next side. So you're going to put one bead on your left. You're going to put one bead on your right. One bead on your left, and you're going to cross through. So we're going to do the exact same steps that we just did. So one half is done, and now we're going to the next. Okay, so now we're going to do that again. You're going to put one bead on your left, one bead on your right, and you're going to cross. You're going to take one bead on your left again, and then you're going to cross through it. And then you're going to see, so far you have three squares there. If you look at the sides, there's the two you just did, and then there was one that was already from the other side. See if you can count the bottom. There's one crystal, then two, and then three. So you need to do this step one more time. One on your left, one on your right, one on your left, and then you cross through it. See how it's looking like a V now? So if you can count it, the sides, one, two, three, four. I see four crystals on the side. So now we're going to make the turn how we did before, where you only put three on your left side. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Take your left thread, and you're going to put one, two, three. You're going to cross through the, the last one, the third one. 
Now watch the piece. It's going to turn sideways just like that. And then you're going to do that again. You're going to add three on your left. One, two, one more, three, and then you're going to cross through it. And then you're going to see the, beat, the piece turn again where it's going to look like the J. Okay, now watch how it turns. See? See how it turns? Make it look like the J, and then your string is on your left, and there's your right. And then you're going to go up like we just did before. You're going to take your right string, and you're going to go up the next bead, and then on your left string, you're going to add two. So just make sure your piece looks like the, the video in the right direction there. So you put your two on and you cross through the last one. There you go. And then you're going to, it's easy to hold it like that. Now you go up the next bead. Go straighten that out. And then you're going to put two on your left string. It's one, two. Let the one drop down and take the second one and cross through it, just like you did before. Okay. Now you're going to go up the next bead on this side, and you're going to go across to the other side. Let me try to get through here. So you're going to take that one, pull that up, and then you're going to go on the other, you're going to, watch, see where my, my thread is going? It's going to go on the other side. I hope you could see that. This The camera is not the greatest quality. There it is. Yeah, so you have the bead, you have a string coming out of, you can see that clear. And then it's, it's coming out of on the other side. So now you're going to take just one bead on your left and you're going to cross through that one bead. And that's going to kind of uh, make it more of a V. Watch how it goes together. Okay. And now you're going to go up the next bead with your right thread. Just go up the, uh, the next bead in line. Just one. And then on your left thread, you're going to add two beads. You'll let one drop down. That's one. It's two. And then cross through it with your right thread. And then again, you're going to go up the next bead in line with your right thread. And then on your left thread, you're going to add two beads. Let that one drop down. Cross through with your right thread through that left bead. There you go. Now, you're going to go up the next two beads. You're going to go up that one and then the next one. Now you're going to you're going to make a flap. I'm going to show you how to do that. You add one bead to your left. Take your right string and just cross through it. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to take one bead on your left, one bead on your right, one bead on your left, 
and you're going to cross through it. And then you're going to do that one more time. One on your left, one on your right, one on your left, and cross through it. Now, I'm going to take the piece and I'm going to turn it upside down, the, where the strings are going to be on the bottom. Okay, it's now my left is still my left, my right is still my right. Now I'm going to count six, you have to go through the fifth and sixth bead. So the is one, there you go, one, two, three, four, and then you're going to go down the fifth and the sixth bead. And then you're going to pull it gently. So you're going to start making where the ball is going to sit. So now you take one bead and you can put it on your right thread or your left because you're only putting one so it really doesn't matter. And then you just cross through that one. Just pull it. And then you're going to stick the bead in there. Just pop it in pull it. Now you're going to start working with the, the piece in this direction. It's upside down. So your left thread is in your left hand, your right thread. Now you're going to go up with your right thread. You're going to go up the next bead in line. Just going to go up the one. Sometimes it's hard and if, it, if it's hard to go through you could use tools to pull it out, but that one went through. So it's just the one bead. Now you're going to take your left thread <clears throat> and you're going to just put two on again. So you're going to put one, let that fall, two, and then you're going to cross through with your right thread. Pull it, and now you're going to go up the next bead on this side and then you're going to go up onto the other side. I'm going to show you how you do that. You go through that side. Now you're going to turn your piece again and you're going to go up the next bead on the other side. Oh, there you go. Sometimes it's hard to put through, but you can move it around until you, you get it through. There you go. Okay, now your piece is that way. So that's your left side, that's your right side. Now you take one bead, again, doesn't matter if it's your left or your right, and then you cross through it with your right thread. Now you're going to go up. You're going to do exactly what you did, but now you're just going to do it on this side. So you're going to go up the next bead. Sometimes it, it, it's a little hard to go through, but because the other beads lined up and the string wants to go through the other bead, so you kind of have to make sure you only go through the one bead. So now you're going to add two on your left string. Sometimes it's hard to see. <laughs> That's one. Let that fall. That's two. Take your right string and cross through it. Okay, then you're going to take your right string and you're going to go through the next two. So now you're going to make the flap for that side. And we're almost done. This is, it's fairly easy to make these, ha these hearts. They look scary and intimidating, but they're really easy. So now you take the one bead, you put it on your left string, take your right string and cross through it like that and then you're going to do what you did before to make the flap. You're going to put one on your left, one on your right, one on your left, you're going to cross through it. Then you can do that one more time, one on your left, 
one on your right, one on your left, and cross through it. Okay, now you're going to turn your piece upside down like we did before. So here's my left side, my right side. Now I'm going to count to go through the fifth and sixth bead. One, two, three, four, and then on the other side is five and six. And then you just take one bead. We're almost done. I'm going to cross through it. And then you're going to stick the bead in there, pull it. Now you're going to go through the next bead on this side. And then on to the other side. You take, you're going to take the, your right side still and you're going to go through the, the one bead on that side. And then you add one bead, your last bead. And that's it, you're done with filling in the heart. Aren't you proud of yourself? So now to put the bail in, this might be a little tricky. Yeah, see where the string is coming out of on this side? You have to put that string onto the other side. So now you have to string it through a couple of beads to get it to the other side. So where that string is coming out of, you're just gonna go up, up one, then through the next one next to it, which is, I hope you can see this, it's really hard to, again, this is not the greatest quality, and then through the next one right there. So it's gonna be exactly coming out of the same exact string as the other side. See how they're, coming out of, it's kind of like on an angle. So now we're going to put the bail on. So you should have two crystals left and a bail. So what you do is you put a crystal, the bail, and then a crystal all on one side. And then you cross through it and again, I did it on my right side. It really doesn't matter because you're, it's all going on one string. So it doesn't matter if you're doing it on your right or your left. So you put it through, cross through all three, pull it, and then it will sit right in there beautifully. And that's it. You're done. And now what you do is you just secure it. You go through random beads. It's always the one next to it. Just go through them. You can make it tight. If you keep just string through as many as you can. I don't usually not. Sometimes if you know, it gets stubborn and you can't get through it, just find one that you can go through. I'm just going to show you how to do it on this side. See, so yeah, I just pull it through. And then I go turn the piece around. I do the same thing with that side. I just pull it through. And then I just randomly find, you know, another spot to put it through and if you want like I said if if the two strings meet like here I'm gonna have them meet up you can knot it you can take a knot put a little dab of glue and you'll be done with it I don't normally make knots I just really just spend a good five ten minutes just stringing through each bead until the piece feels solid because I think the more you string through each bead it just it, the piece just gets solid it just takes time this is where you kind of relax and this is where the therapy comes in you just sit and you're quiet and you're just stringing through the beads and that's it for now so enjoy i hope this was clear if you like the video just put a thumbs up i appreciate you watching it and i really hope it it helped and if you're stuck with anything just leave a comment but these are the ones that i i've made different colors they're really beautiful and that's it